So I was messing around on Steam the other day, and I was looking up random games when I came across a game called 321. The description of the game read, 321 is divided into smaller adventure games that open a dialogue with the player and encourage interaction and exploration. I, oh my god, fuck. 321 is divided into smaller adventure games that open a dialogue with the player and encourage interaction and exploration. I fuck I fuck that goddamn word up. Exploration, Explor exploration. <sighs> I got it. Though the players' interactions with these are, ah, oh, goddamn it. Though the players' interactions with these that serve as a timeline of events, they discover what three twenty one is really about and just how real games can get. And. Yeah, just from that description alone, you can tell this game's really weird. So, today we're going to be playing a really weird ass game. So, hopefully, you enjoy. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Rita's all I need. A little bit of Tina's what I see. Oh, okay. Um Huh, the mouse the mouse sensitivity. Holy shit. Uh Where's the mouse sensitivity at? Do I have to keep it at like the same Oh, this is going to be very annoying. This mouse sensitivity is so broken. So bad, I should say. And Oh, uh, we can zoom in, and, oh, what, what the hell did I do? Okay, so you zoom into interactive stuff. That's, that's a really weird, uh, function. There you are. You are in a room. Darkness surrounds you. Wow, I didn't know that. You have the feeling of dread, certainly, that something is wrong and an object you love is missing okay oh so we can type okay that's nice um <laughs> um hello this achieves nothing. You are alone. Try exploring a different area of your of your room or examining an item. Okay. Well, how about the keyboard? I don't think I can look at that anymore. I I'm very confused. Okay. Like there's no uh like buttons or controls. So I'm like really confused on what to do. Um, I can't really go anywhere else but this uh, area. And okay. Um. Oh, wait, 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 wait. there's a disc right here. Or what is that? Maybe if I just spam this. Okay, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Um, lamp, maybe? How did I interact with the keyboard before? Because when you zoom in and stuff, it interacts with it. Ooh. Oh, I was right. It is the lamp. Okay. And now we can move everywhere. Okay. That is nice. That is really nice. Um, What's over here? 
push. Is this like a... Oh, this is a water fountain. That's a trash can. And that is an antibacteria hand gel. Well, thank you very much. I might need that if I, like, get AIDS or something. Oh my god, that's a really nice picture. Yeah. Metaphobia is a phobia characterized by a severe fear of the dark. It is one of the most commonly occurring phobias in people, especially children. Studies show that 90% of children go through intense fears of darkness and night. If the situation is severe and untreated, the phobia can prolong till adulthood. NHO provides services for children and young adults suffering from phobias such as nyctophobia. Speak with your GP for further information. NHO, feel better. Okay. This is weird. This is very, very weird. This is making me uncomfortable. PN, Alone Incident Arc. Okay. Um, S spam MX80. Is that a printer? Yeah, it might be a printer. Um, can we interact with this? Oh, oh my god, there's a moth. Yeah, that's a moth. It's 321. Hey, just like the game's called. Um,. That is some weird stuff over there, and that's a hallway that looks very eerie. Is this game horror? I, I really hope not, because I kind of was hoping it would just be like some weird fucking game that we can laugh at, but if it's a horror game, then none of us are going to be the one laughing. Okay, I keep hearing this noise in my headphones. And I don't know if it's the game trying to trick me or if it's just my headphones being weird. I don't know. I got these like a I got these new pair like a week ago, which is probably why my mic sounds different by the way. But uh Can we can we play this game? I actually want to play some arcade games right now. Oh, yes, we can. Okay. How do I do this? Oh. Okay, so the joystick is arrow keys. And uh, A and D is the joystick as well. Uh, how do we play this? Oh crap, I didn't mean to do that. I wanna get back, okay. I guess we just gonna have to spam the keyboard. space okay space is a shoot um enter no shift backspace escape no uh tab i don't know how to start it i really badly want to start okay so basically uh i just figured out when i was um doing this arcade machine that i accidentally stopped the recording and i basically like missed 20 minutes of like uh, recording so basically you guys didn't see what I've been doing but it hasn't been too much it's just been wandering around trying to figure out what the hell to do and there's basically like really nothing like I've been trying for 20 minutes straight <sighs> I have really no clue to do oh wait there's something here uh, instructions. Use keyboard. Left. Left cursor. Right. Right cursor. Wait. Fire spell. Oh! Oh my god! That, that's the arcane machine! Okay. Um. That's the, uh, instructions for... To play the, uh, arcade. Oh, yes. Okay, um, alright, zoom in, now, run. Or, oh, no, 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 I might have to go all the way back to here, 
to the uh, computer clear down there and I might have to type in run and it might start up the game that's actually this game is like really weird but it's kind of cool at the same time okay you press in the switch and you and are immediately received to find yourself in familiar surroundings. The room that surrounds you is completely illuminated and the fears you have had now subsided. You feel free to explore your environment more freely knowing what you fear is not a threat at this time. So was that after we like turned on the lamp? Yeah, I think that message is after we turned on the lamp. Okay, well type in run. Um, that should have started up the game. Also, I don't know if I recorded this or not, but basically we're in kind of this hospital. Um, basically, this is, uh, Simon's room, and, uh, we might possibly be Simon. Um, and... This is a classroom right here, so this game's like really weird because it's a hospital, but each door leads to a different thing, and yeah. So that I'm pretty sure is an office. Over here is probably like a college room, um, and this right here is probably like a uh, like the hospital room. And, yeah. So, did this do anything? Please tell me it did. I, did I go all the way over there? Just, okay. I want to go back to read those instructions. Because maybe I missed something. Okay, and then right there, I'm pretty sure is like, outside. So, each room just leads to a different thing. Um... Okay. Uh, use keyboard. Left cursor. Right cursor. Space bar. Type run to play. Oh. Is it? Run. Comma. Wait, wait, wait. What is that? There's like a little uh, thing after run. And it's also in caps. Okay. Um, maybe we just have to put in caps? Okay. So, run. Don't know if that did anything. Let's just go check. And... Nope. Still just here. God damn it. I wanted to play this game so badly. Um, also... I'm pretty sure this game is um, correlated to a uh, board game that we have in our room. Like, I think it's from like the same type of game. But see, look, see, look how similar they look. And this is called Void, and I think the arcade game is also called Void. So they might be like the same type of game, which is pretty cool but all the like I think all these rooms correlate different things that we might have done in our life um, actually you know what I want to try to piece this together so this is our room Simon and all the pictures in this room are us when we're like very young like probably 10 or 11 um, and then this is outside, so something happened outside. Um, and then it goes uh, farther in, and basically just like high school, maybe that might be correlating to. And um, then it shows college, and then we're in a uh, office now because we're like an adult. And then uh, something happened at a hospital, and we might have died. And, like, every single door is, like, uh, 
beginning of her life to the end of her life. Because the hospital room is the uh, last door, and our room when we were like 11 is our first door. So, yeah. Also, um, this game kind of has a theme of uh, darkness and light. Basically, if there's something dark, like this room, like this area over here, I can't walk into because it has to be lit up for me to walk into it. And that's what the beginning of the game was. Like, we had to turn on the lamp to progress. So basically, you have to turn on light to progress farther into the game. How do we do that? I have no clue, but... Terminal, a 3-20-15 game. Must play, game reviewer. Out of this world, coded game. Coming soon. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, this is Void. So it's the exact same game from the board game. So these two correlate somehow. Like, everything in this game probably has a purpose. But what is that purpose? I have no clue. I just made up a little uh, stupid theory about us dying and stuff. But, yeah. Um, I have really no clue what to do in this game. Um, you know, I might be back to uh, try to figure out what to do because I don't want to just leave it off of us just not progressing at all. So I'm going to go uh, watch a video real quick on to see what else, what next to do. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I figured out something. Um, I was just like uh, messing around on the monitor, and basically, I think I figured out what to do. So, um, do you know how, like, the, uh, here, I'll show you guys. Um, okay, so the instructions right here about the uh, left, right, fire, and then run. Well, I think I figured it out because this used keyboard. So basically, we had to go all the way back to the console and type in left, run, fire, I mean, left, right, fire, and run. And I typed in left, and then it popped up with new text. So, you are at a desk by the monitor. So, right. Yes! Okay, I think I figured it out. You stand by the entrance door to the room. Fire. Or, I guess not. Okay. Um, run, maybe? Uh... Okay, so left is the monitor and the desk. Um, right is you stand by the entrance door to the room. Uh huh. Leave the room. Oh my god, yes! You're hesitant to do so, given that there is still so much more to discover about 321. Okay, um, wait, 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 let me just try right real quick. Alright, so right, left, oh, okay, that's weird um oh wait, 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 wait I actually have an idea okay so we do right again or no left my bad um brings us back to the monitor so use the monitor oh my god I am a genius you reach for the switch on the front of the AMS 64 uh, monitor 
power on. Immediately, immediately you hear its lights hum resonant in the room. Oh, oh, oh my god, I might have figured out something. Um, so it said we turned on like a computer thing. Does that mean we turned on this or this? I am very confused. Oh, I thought like we turned on like this or this because I think I think I kind of get what we're supposed to do. Basically, this monitor or this computer, I should say, controls everything in the hall. So basically, if we do one thing, then something else will happen, leading us to progress more in the game, which is a very cool concept if I'm correct about it. Um, use the monitor. Right? Okay. So, there's like two different things to do. Um, we can leave the room when we're at the entrance of the room or we can use the monitor I mean we can use the monitor when we're at the desk with the monitor um, but I don't know what to do after like we've done all that stuff because see when I crap I didn't made it put the slash See, look. Wait, wait, what? Did I spell monitor wrong? Oh my god, it's not working anymore. Oh my god, did I break it? Or am I just spelling monitor wrong? Crap, I can't use the monitor anymore. The, what? Okay. Uh, leave the room. Okay, so that still works. I'm very confused because when we're at like the monitor theme and we use the monitor, it did a different thing, but now it doesn't work anymore. Um, you're hesitant to do so. Given that there's still so much more to discover about their twin. Uh, what is there to discover? Nope. Um, one, two, three. Nope. One, two, three. Nope. Okay. Well... You know what, I think I might leave it there. If you guys want to see more of this game, then I will gladly do it. But it's just, this game is kind of like weird, but fun at the exact same time. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you guys want to see more of this game, I will gladly do it. Um, and yeah, so I guess I'll see you guys later.